Hello, Mishpacha. It's Courtney, America's Jewish Mother. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to go through my April TBR because it's already March 31st. Um, and I actually tried to film this video a day or two ago, but uh, we're in the middle of Passover right now, which is an eight-day Jewish holiday that has a lot of food restrictions, and I get very um, hangry and weak during <laughs> Passover, so I... Whenever I actually tried to film this video, I could just like feel as I was filming it, I was like, this is bad. This is not good. <laughs> so, so I'm happy to report I'm more well fed now. So, um, so yeah, so let's get into the books that I'm planning to read in the month of April. So first of all, I will be continuing my Mammoth from March of the Mammoths, which, which is the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, right now, I am over 800 pages into this. Um, I've kind of stalled a little bit on this, um, but given that I am, you know, significantly, well, not significantly, but definitely past the halfway point, I'm on the other side of this. Um, I definitely do want to buckle down and finish this in April. I am enjoying it, but again, I've just sort of stalled on reading it for the past um, several days, so hopefully I will, I will pick this back up and, and get into it again sooner rather than later. So I definitely intend to finish um, Count Monte Cristo. I also have a couple of buddy reads that I'm going to be doing in the month of April, one of which is Arvind Adiga's The White Tiger, which I'm really excited because this is a reread for me, and it was included in the list of books that I wanted to reread. I have very fond memories of this. Um, it's about contemporary India. It features um, an unreliable but charming narrator named Balram um, who writes letters to, I want to say, the, is it the Prime Minister? Maybe. I, I can't totally remember because I, seriously, I think I read this at least a decade ago, if not longer. So, um, but yeah, I'm doing this as a buddy read with Raina of Rainier Books, so definitely looking forward to that. Um, I will also, in the month of April, be buddy reading a poetry collection with Jen of Remembered Reads. This is Khaled Batawa's collection Tocqueville. This is also part of my Arab American literature project, where every month I read one book um, written by an Arab American writer. Uh, so I've never read anything, uh, any poetry, anything else by Khaled Matawa before, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this with Jen. Um, and then the last book I am going to do is a buddy read. I don't have here with me to hold up and show you, but it is Olga Tokarczuk's Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead. Um, I will be doing this as a buddy read with Jenny of What's Bookin'. Um, definitely looking forward to that. I've never read anything by Olga Tokarczuk, but I know that she won the Nobel Prize in Literature um, a few years ago, and this is, I believe, her most recent work, and I think a lot of people read it when it first came out, um, whenever that was, a couple of years ago now. <laughs> so, um, so definitely looking forward to getting around to that one. Um, I have one other book that is going to be as sort of part of a group read, um, which is, uh, what is it called? Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman. This is also a nod to, to Aussie April. Um, I will be reading this for Scott and Nell's book group, which is called Red Under the Bed. Um, and I don't really know anything about Terra Nullius except that I know it's written by an indigenous um, Australian writer. Um, and I think Lindsay of Lindsay's Book Life read it and quite liked it, if I remember correctly. So I'm looking forward to reading that and seeing how I get on with it. And as with the Olga Tokarczuk, I'm going to get that from the library, so I do not have a physical copy here to hold up and show you. So I think that covers all of the group reads, buddy reads, etc. Um, also, in the month of April, I would like to finally get around to reading Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart, which is a classic of modern African literature. Um, it says that this tells two intertwining stories, both of which center on Okonkwo, a strongman of an Igbo village in Nigeria. The first is a powerful fable of the immemorial conflict between the individual and society, um, and the second concerns the clash of cultures and the destruction of Okonkwo's world with the arrival of aggressive European missionaries. So definitely looking forward to finally getting around to reading this book after all this time. Um, and additionally, another book I'm looking forward to getting to after all this time is Michelle Alexander's The New Jim Crow, um, which is a nonfiction book. Um, and honestly, I'm a little I'm a little burnt out on nonfiction after my booktube prize reading and judging in February and March. I am reading one other nonfiction book right now, which is Idioma Lewis Mediocre, which I was really looking forward to. 
getting to, but this will be the only other nonfiction book that's on my, uh, that's included in my April reading, because again, it was a lot to read six works of nonfiction over February and March, so want to want to just take a step back a little bit from nonfiction right now, but um, I am excited to read this. I've read the introduction to it before. Um, it seems really interesting, and I think it's really important to read because it is about how mass incarceration in the United States disproportionately targets um, people of color, and specifically African American men, and more or less constitutes a new Jim Crow, which is what Michelle Alexander argues. Um, so definitely looking forward to, again, finally getting around to reading this very important book. Um, I would also like to read in the month of April um, Farewell Damascus by Gada al-Saman. I think this is translated by Nancy Roberts. Um, this is this is to fit a prompt for the Reading Women challenge of, I think it's to read a translated, a translated Arab book or something like that. I'll, I'll put whatever it actually is here. Um, so this book is set in Damascus, Syria, Syria in the early 1960s. Um, the book opens as a university student and aspiring young writer plots an early morning escape from her house as her husband sleeps. Her mission is to get an illicit abortion and plans, um, plans for which she has divulged to no one and to announce that she wants out of her stifling marriage. So that sounds very exciting. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. And then last but not least, um, I would also finally like to read in the month of April uh, Walter Mosley's The Awkward Black Man, which is Mosley's most recent collection of short stories. I've never read Walter Mosley before, and this book actually did appear on my March TBR, but I switched it out for um, something else. So I'm going to read it instead in April. And at least one person that I'm friends with on Goodreads, I don't remember who now, <laughs> sorry, um, recently read this and rated it five stars, so I'm definitely now um, even more excited to read this book, and this was also gifted to me by Lindsay of Lindsay's Book Life in our Holiday Book Exchange last year, um, so again, looking forward to reading this. Um, okay, so let me see if I can hold up the big pile for you. It won't be quite as big as the big pile from last month, um, and again, this is going to be minus like two books that I have to get from the library oh god the count of money or so is going to go on top this is uh this is going to be interesting all right let's see okay there we go <laughs> there it's the big pile so that's everything i will hopefully get to in the month of april um if you have thoughts about any of these books please feel free to let me know that down in the comments below especially if you think i should prioritize some of them over others um let me know what you're excited about reading in april um, thank you for watching this. I hope everyone is staying healthy and well. I hope you're doing good reading whatever you're reading. And until next time, would it kill you to call your mother?